my name is Gudrun from GE Designs. Welcome to our show. Happy Friday. Hi, everyone. Thank you for being here. Happy Friday to everyone. Whether you're watching us on YouTube or Facebook, make sure you are a subscriber. If you're on YouTube, all you got to do is hit that red logo and you'll be subscribed to our channel and get the shows right there every time we go live. If you're on Facebook, just make sure to follow our page and you are set. We have a giveaway every show, so stick around and please tell us your name and where you're tuning in from, what you're going to be doing with your Happy Friday because a lucky commenter will win a $25 gift card at the end of the show. So always a live winner on Fridays. Say hello to Mr. HP. He is running the show here. We are in Studio A. Studio A. Studio, Studio A. A. And so how are you doing today? It's a happy Friday. It is a happy Friday, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, it's uh, been a busy week. Busy and fun week here uh, in the GE headquarters for us. It's always a good week. It's always great. At headquarters. Yes. Being with our people. For sure. And we celebrate Fridays. If you're new around here, we do. We'll talk about lots about quilting and stuff, but we also just celebrate with something really refreshing in a glass. And today's cocktail, I chose something fresh because we're going to have 70 degrees here this weekend in Minnesota, 70s, 70s. And that's uh, pretty rare in April. Yeah. But this drink is called a Pinana Breeze. Pine -nana. Pine nana So what is in there is some pineapple rum. You can use regular rum if you want to. Banana liqueur, a little bit of lemon juice and lime juice, and then some pineapple juice. I put it all in a glass and add a little bit of sparkling water to it just for a little freshness. And I love it. Cheers. Mm. What do you think, sir? Let me see. Mm -hmm. Let me get off over here. Uh, hold on a second. It's over your face. Oh, here it is. <laughs> All over your face. Mm, yeah. That's nice. It's tropical. Tropical. Exactly. Exactly. Now, uh, word of the day. Do you have a word for us today, Mr. HP, from your dictionary? Uh, I do. Yeah? This word means two things. It means not so good and then... Pretty cool. And oh. that word is ill. Oh. Like some people have been a little ill around here. That's not so good. <laughs> no. But then when you're ill, you're When something is cool. ill. Cool. Oh, that's ill? Like Awesome. Oh, like, okay. man, that, that's ill. It's like the kids say, that's sick? Right, yeah. That's sick. Not, okay. not like sick, sick, but sick, is cool. Is this the newest? Okay. It's Ill not really it? new. Like oh, for you, old? probably it's new. But. <laughs> <laughs> that was before sick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's okay. sick. Okay. All right. That's word of the day, ladies and gentlemen. All right. There it is. Well, today uh, also is in that th these two days, national days, kind of contradict each other. It is National Day of Silence. Well, we we're not going to be much silent. Ah, uh, no. It also is National Walk on the Wild Side Day. You can be wild and quiet. You think? Okay. Yeah. Well, possibly. Yeah. It is also National Grilled Cheese Day. Ooh, now that sounds good. Ooh. That I think that's going to have to be our, ain't it, our um, lunch. Ain't it uh, National Licorice Day? Yes, it is National Licorice Day as well. Okay, black licorice or red licorice? Red licorice is not licorice. There it is, is only it is in one this licorice. It is in this picture. <laughs> it's, just, it's just made with corn syrup. It's okay. not licorice. <laughs> How about you folks out there? Black licorice? Or, I'm not going to ask her. Mm -hmm. Black licorice. Black licorice. licorice. Licorice is black. Okay. Um, it is also National Hamster Day. You ever had a hamster? No. That I don't understand. But well, don't you, well, don't you whatever understand? floats your boat. I, I don't know. I just have a thing with like having a little animal in a cage. And do you understand? Not really under, under, like, play with it. I don't know. Maybe they do play with them. Rabbits? 
Well, they're like in your backyard. How about how about <laughs> they get lizards? to run free? How about lizards? <laughs> no, I don't get that either. Frogs? No. Goldfish? Mm, no. <laughs> but that's okay. I don't have to get it. Okay. So enjoy your hamsters. It's their national day. Yeah. But it's only also national only child day. I guess uh, only children need their own day. This one says, we are so freaking amazing, <laughs> our parents only needed one. <laughs> so what you're saying is, when you're the oldest, they, they, your parents kept like making more to try and perfect it, no, and it just got worse? <laughs> they only needed one, because they're so awesome to be by themselves. Yeah, well, I get it. Maybe that's it. Maybe not. It's a choice. We have five, so I guess that I doesn't know. apply to... That doesn't apply. No. Um, and they're all awesome, right? They're all awesome in their own special, special way. way. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. We love our children. <laughs> yes. We shouldn't be talking too much. So there's two of them in this building right now. So um, let's kick off our Friday segment, our favorite Friday segment, our show and tell. <laughs> We are starting off with this amazing tailor quilt made by Julie out of the storyboard fabrics from Seth Apter. I love this so much. This is so abstract. It really blurs the lines of the pattern, which I love. And what an awesome backing. We have this backing as well. I love this. Now, we do have just a few storyboard bundles left. I, I, you know, we, have, we were sold out of it for a really long time. We got a restock back not too long ago. I don't know if everybody knew that, but I just love this combination. Great, great job, Julie. Now, next we have Cheryl, uh, and she made a pitter-patter, which is a quilt as you go pattern from our Fast and Furious Club. Really awesome. Uh, just a really quick and fun quilt to make for a baby gift or a donation. They're great for donations. And then we have Carla's Amelie Supersized. Beautiful job. This looks like, oh, this is um, a bundle we had from Create Joy a while back with the teals and the violets. That's so pretty. Great job with using that white. That's very striking. Next up, we have a Saga quilt made by Kelly. I absolutely love this one. It uh, is similar to the one I made originally uh, without the yellow, but it has that hints of tan in there. Uh, really beautiful job with the monochromatic look. Really cool. Next up is Strip Cocoon made by Anne. I love this one, and the colors are so fun and bright for spring that I love that hint of Turquoise in there, just sprinkled through. Really great job. And innovative borders, too. Then we have a Nina quilt made by Linda. Love this one, uh, uh, Linda. This Nina is, uh, she added borders, which is a great choice. And I remember we had this bundle, but I love a blue and green quilt. That's, a, that's really beautiful, nice colors. Next up is Elvira made by Aileen, uh, and that's gorgeous. So this is the original. I don't know if this is from when we did the first initial quilt along, but I, I really love it. Those blues and yellows together are always just really soothing and pretty. Next up is Clarissa, made by Laura. Very cool. Yeah, that one is really cool. She changed the layout a little bit. It looks like that's a square instead of a um, rectangle. Um, so I really love what she did with the layout. Really cool. And just the black and white with that sharp maroon accent. Beautiful job. And then we have Cindy's grab and go toad that she made in our classroom. We had a class, um, Colleen had a class for this bag. And People just loved it, and what a great one. This one can just carry so much stuff around. I love mine. Um, so good job, Cindy, and thanks for coming to class. And then last but not least, we have Angela's Kira quilt. Now this is gorgeous. Uh, looks like tulip tango. 
from Robin Pickens Fabric, and beautiful job. I love how subtle the Kira pattern comes out, but just these little triangles flying around. That's beautiful. Good job, Angela. And good job, everybody. Thank you for sharing, and make, keep them coming in our Goodrins Quilt Group group on Facebook. We would love to share. And speaking of the GE classroom, we hosted a class yesterday for Master Your Astrobiology Rulers, and we had a packed class. Colleen uh, spent a wonderful day with amazing quilters learning more about how to use your astrobiology ruler. So that was really awesome. Thank you all that came to that class. Some people drove quite far away to be here. So we appreciate it so much. But um, let's talk about our big, big reveal that happened on Tuesday. We announced our strip along. We are kicking off our eighth annual strip along. And we'll be quilting um, together. We'll be sewing the strips and salsa pattern these next four Tipsy Tuesdays. And strips and salsa is now on a special price, both a PDF pattern and the printed version. Uh, I always do that in honor of the strip along. So it's only $6. So snatch a pattern. That's all you need to participate. And um, there's the cover of the pattern. Like I said, we have it in both downloadable PDF and regular. There are many versions to do this quilt. As you see on the cover, you can do the vertical rows like this one. This is the original um, with a light background. You can also do the horizontal uh, as you saw on the cover. And I'll show you how to do that. Um, you can do dark backgrounds. Here's the version that is hanging behind me today. Uh, this one is made out of filigree. I really love that one, that sharp yellow. So you can be coordinated and do all your strips from a singular uh, line of fabric like I did there. And that, actually, that background has a bit of a pattern to it. I think it is a little bit background heavy, so it's really cool to add a little bit of a uh, background, kind of a print in, a, in your background. You can do dark backgrounds with sharp colors like this one, which is made by Alice. Uh, you can do a medium background. You can add a border like this one made by Dorinda. Or you can do colored sashing instead of the background sashing. Add a border. Do it monochromatic, kind of like this one, like Stephanie did. And what I'm going to be experimenting with with one of my quilts is a little bit of a wacky, scrappy version like this one by Joyce. I really love this one because the background. It ranges from lights to dark, and then she just threw those really sharp two colors in there to stand out, and I, I and that's just speaks to my speaks to my scrappy heart <laughs> um, because I love the the artsy feel of it. So she left out the sashings, and so this is just very cool to me. Any chance of getting more filigree dandelions or dots? No, that is all sold out. We tried. Um, but that is long gone because that line came out about a year ago. So unfortunately, that is not available anymore. Um, I don't know if we have any left in one yards, but yeah, that was um, came in quite a bit ago, unfortunately. Uh, all right. So any questions on the quilt along? Uh, like I said, all the information you need for the quilt along. Make sure to go to our blog. So you go to our website under About and More. There's our blog button. You can find our blog. It has all the information on the quilt along. It has some photos of these quilts if you want to look at them closer. And now I have posted, if you wanted to make your quilt larger, because the pattern only has three sizes, the crib and the lap and the twin. If you want to make a larger one, I listed fabric requirements for a full queen size and then a large king. So if you wanted to go bigger, fabric requirements are there. And then we'll talk about how to put those bigger sizes together as we go through the quilt along the next four Tipsy Tuesdays. So this coming Tuesday, uh, that is the last day to get the special pricing on the pattern. So make sure you snatch that up. And then we'll start right then. Uh, I talked about fabric. I showed you my fabric choices on Tuesday. So make sure you go check out that show. If you want some inspiration, 
but there is always inspiration coming in every show. I have the directions from the Stripology book with one and a half inch strips. Will the basic directions be the same? Basic directions, yes. Cutting instructions, no. Basic directions, yeah, somewhat. But I will be showing you, we will be focusing on the two and a half inch version, which is the original. I think there was some confusion that the one in the book is the original. It is not. Strips and Cells of Pattern came out in 2009, I believe. Um, the book didn't come out until 2014. So, um, so we'll be focusing on the two and a half inch version. Right now for a strip along, have fabric prepped and wait until Tuesday. Yes, exactly. Pull your fabrics. Um, and if you are on, in our Facebook group, it's always fun to uh, post the fabrics you're going to be sewing with. Prep your strips if you want to, you know, prepare your fabrics with starch or any kind of sizing. You want to do that. You can do that for your backgrounds. If you're going to do it to your strips, make sure you do that before you cut your strips. Um, Jean asked if we should cut now or wait until Tuesday. Uh, wait until Tuesday because I am going to show you some adjustments how you can cut some of those things with the Stripology XL ruler. That, then you don't have to cut squares and triangles. So just wait till Tuesday. We're going to have a week until the next step. Um, so that's all good. You have plenty of time to catch up. You can have your strips cut if you want to do that. Just your two and a half inch strips. You don't want to sub cut them yet because we've got to talk about that. All right. So uh, any other questions on the strip along? I'm excited. I'm going to be making two, at least two versions. Okay. Uh, okay, so if you have directional fabrics, your direction of the fabric is going to be turned any which way. So there is no, uh, I mean, I would draw, you would drive it yourself crazy. There's really no way for a background fabric to be all oriented the same way. So if you're going to cut it up and sew it into strips and salsa, it's going to get turned any which way in the quilt, so if you're okay with that, go for it. Um, okay. Yes, I was about to say that I forgot to tell you. I have my strips and salsa from filigree behind me. And then on uh, my left side is the little Saga table runner. I just thought it was cute because it matched my outfit. <laughs> and then on the other side is our fresh cut table topper. This is our Fast and Furious project for the month of April, which will go live uh, on uh, April 20th. So coming up soon. I thought just it's really nice and fresh and fun for spring. So check that out. Oh, the one behind you. Yes, this is a brand new one from a fabric line that is coming. It's not here yet. This is probably going to be one of the first Christmas lines we receive. It is Winterly by Robin Pickings, and does any, can anybody guess the pattern? It is Colby, the pattern. <laughs> I really love this. This is just gorgeous. Yeah, it does, because it has a little bit of black and green and red, and I would say, yes, it is holiday-ish, but it's called Winterly, so not really Christmas. There's no Santas or anything like that. There's some... some uh, Beautiful florals and some berries, but that's about it. Nice vibe. Yeah, but definitely Christmas colors. You want it to be that. So, very beautiful. I am using the leftovers from this quilt to have some strips for another small strips and salsa. All right, so it is time for our monthly feature, Color Club Reveal. So our subscription club, Goodies Color Club, of course, delivers five beautiful half yards of fabric to you every month. I choose an inspiration photo, and that's where I choose the fabrics, the five different fabrics from. So they all kind of coordinate with that theme. And so they work together. They're perfect basics. They're always just tone-on-tone -tone basics that you can keep in your collection and pull out for all kinds of different things. So first, I have my pack. So let's go ahead and check out what is in the bundle today for the month of April. So something special. Let me turn it over and we can pull it out. It is Color Club. Ooh, we see a blue sky. What is it? The inspiration is sand. Oh, yes. Sand. Uh, there is nothing like 
stepping on some really soft beach. That is, of course, my one of my favorite things. Um, I am so lucky where we are in Florida to have access to the best beaches around, and I love just walking on that powdery sand. It's really uh, fascinating how sand is different on different beaches, but uh, that contrast of really white sand and you know other colors with the water, turquoise water, is just beautiful. So these light sand colors are, of course, so great with everything, but let's take a look at them. Um, five different fabrics, of course. We'll start with dimples in the sand color. Now, we've had dimples as a basic for a while, but we've not had this color, sand. So you will see that it is, um, the texture is almost like sand because it's got little thing, like extra patterns in the, within the pattern. Um, that is broken up sometimes, so it's like somebody walked through the sand in parts and, and messed it up. So that is the first. This is by Andover Fabrics. And then we have Spatter in Ivory. Now this one is, yeah, this one is Wilmington. And uh, uh, another one that really looks like sand because it's, it's lights and darks of the sand color and then specks of a little bit darker. So really beautiful and look at how much they coordinate. You can barely see the difference. Then we have a fabric called suede and this is a and b and so uh, a little bit more of a mottled texture. So you'll see the darks and the lights, and I chose it to be a little bit darker. So if here we have more of the St. Pete Beach, um, this may be a little bit on maybe the east coast of Florida, <laughs> a little bit darker, uh, deeper sand color. I can't tell the difference. You're a pro. I am. How do you of know? Of course I am. And then we have a Vertex Weave. I really love this pattern. This is by... Uh, QT fabrics, so we have a little cross hatch that ha is like it's been blurred out in, in places, and then the dark um, spots are a little bit tan, has a little pink hue to it, like some sand on some beaches. And then we have, last but not least, a scroll, which is also a Wilmington print. Just a very subtle scroll, uh, makes a really great background fabric, of course with some dark spots, and, uh, and then the pattern kind of comes through in, in different places. So this is just really, of course, a great, great combination. This sand color uh, to use for all kinds of backgrounds. It pairs great with, of course, rust and terracotta um, and browns and golds. But uh, I actually love to use it with bright colors as well because sometimes we want those brighter colors to be toned down a little bit. And um, it's really helpful with a little bit of sand versus white. Uh, it tones it down, but yet still makes them shine. So we do have one yards always for at least a limited time of all of our Color Club colors that are now in the store. So it's perfect for if you wanted to use one of these from your bundle and um, you just needed some more. It, they're going to be restocked and um, just really fun to use. And like I said, this is such a versatile color. It will go with almost anything. But of course, I have, since I'm here, I had some fun going through the warehouse, looking at bundles where these would fit, fit in perfectly. So uh, first one I pulled is Blake. And so this is by Whistler. We didn't get uh, in Wyndham. We got this not too long ago. And I just think the warm colors, the yellows in here, even though there's a lot of grays and taupes, the yellows make this just make sense. Um, very easily could use this with the Blake. Then I found Juniper. Juniper is by Art Gallery, and it has darks and then lights. The lights range in, in, in uh, sh shade, so we have some sandy colors, but they are a lot of patterns, so these would be perfect to add in some calming fabrics. I pulled out time travel 
Now, this is our steampunk punk themed fabric. We have the darks and then we have the lights. Again, they're all very patterned. So adding some of these basics would really calm it down, add, um, and of course, pull out all those beautiful warm tones in these fabrics. We have Honey Bloom, another one that has those warm golden yellows. And so I think adding that sand to this as a background would be beautiful, nice and soft. Shades of Autumn, like I said, any of those warmer tones, the browns, the oranges, uh, are just going to be perfect to add the sand color to. That would be a great background for this bundle, for example. We have Sunflower Meadow, a little bit brighter. But again, those really nice warm hues. Um, I think sand would be great with this. So something so bright, if you were to put a white background with it, it might be just a little too sharp. But this is ju would just make it so um, nice and warm and harmonious to use something a little bit more sandy. We have green fields. Green fields has a little bit lighter tones, but there are darker hues in the leaves. So I think adding a little bit of warmth to this one would be always a good idea. Then we have mystical sun. Mike again, sorry guys. And uh, so time. adding, time. I know, this is just not a good seed for me or something. Um, so adding these as a background to mix with these lighter colors that have a lot of pattern to it would be a great idea. I have a couple more. I love this Evermore because of the golden t colors in here and the warmth of the olive greens. Uh, sand would be a great option for a background for Evermore. And our... Bundle Club from January, this is Woodland and Wildflower. Uh, that's a perfect background for this one because of all the warmth, all the rusty reds, the golds, um, and then of course the teal and black would be really gorgeous. I have one more and this is a, a new, newly back, uh, Modern Abstractions. We just got this one back. We can talk about that one a little later, but this one is perfect to add some sand to it. There's already those golden tones in here. So that would be a great addition to modern abstractions. So these are some ideas to use your sand. Color Club, what do you think? How, do you, how are you guys going to use this color? I would love to hear it. So let's take a look at your video. fun to hear from you. We are going to have our three-year anniversary of Color Club coming this June. Of course, we'll have a little celebration, but there are some folks that have been subscribers of Color Club since that time for three full years. So 36 beautiful packs of wonderful basics. I hear from people all the time how much they love being um, getting Color Club in the mail. They use them all the time, constantly throughout the year. Because sometimes it's a color that you just maybe just don't ever buy, but sometimes you need those colors when you're pulling together a quilt, or it's maybe just that one tone that just fits perfectly, and it's just fun. It's like ha like a a painter having you know all the co colors in their palette. So uh, I love it, and I hope you enjoy it too. We have some openings if you are interested in joining uh, our color club subscriptions. 
uh, you can check that out on our website. All right, um, we are going to talk about the Mother's Day boxes because they have been selling out. We have a few left of our Mother's Day boxes. They will be shipping at the end of the month. So these are gift boxes. So what is in there is 16 different half yards that we've chosen around a bundle. I've chosen uh, two patterns that would be great with the boxes or with that combination of fabrics. And then you have some extra goodies in there, um, get, like gifts and great tools to use. So it's a perfect little gift box to give to uh, someone for Mother's Day or any occasion. Uh, you can put some notes in your order and we can customize the card that goes to the person if you wanna have the box shipped straight to them. Or maybe it's just for you, it's all good. But we have been, uh, yeah, selling out like crazy. So let's take a look at the ones that we have left. We have the bold uh, Mother's Day box, which comes with the Trinity pattern and really cool modern abstract pat uh, fabrics. Then we have the holiday cheer. Uh, one, which is for that person that just loves uh, the holidays. So uh, steamy windows quilt pattern in there. Then we have the modern box, which has the verdigris fabrics, and I chose the Nelly pattern to go with it. And we have the Oceanscape box that has beautiful ocean, not necessarily ocean themed, but that that palette is just screams ocean or beach and so i chose the nikki pattern we already made a quilt using these similar fabrics with it which i loved then we have the patriotic um not necessarily the patterns on the on the prints but the coloring so the blues and the reds and the taupes uh we have the kira pattern with that we already made one out of these and it's gorgeous so that was a perfect choice and then the last one we have is, is this the last one? The strawberries and more, um, nice, whimsical, fun, and summery using the saga pattern. Oh yeah, one more, we have the whimsical as well. Uh, bright colors, botanical fabrics, um, lot, very colorful, and we already made the Clarissa with these fabrics, which turned out awesome. And so thou, those are the ones that are left. So snatch one up if you're still thinking about it. Don't wait too long because they are going to fly away fast. So last Tuesday, I um, showed you a brand new one, uh, one yard collection that we now have in our basics called Glaze by Libs Elliott from Andover. And it's always fun to add, you know, beautiful 24 beautiful new colors to our one yard offerings. And we have some new fabrics, that is new colors from some of our most favorite basic lines. So Deco Stitch has eight new colors, or no, seven new colors. We've been getting them in kind of slowly. So we have Sunburst. This one is really nice and bright orangey, it's kind of a dark orange, like a red orange. Uh, really love this one. And then we have um, more muted colors. We have Deco Stitch Fudge Brownie, a really nice warm brown. And then we have Cinnamon Sugar. So light brown with a little bit of a pinkish hue, just like Cinnamon Sugar. We have Skyline Blue, which is a gorgeous, gorgeous kind of a robin's egg blue, but a little muted. And then even lighter, Deco Stitch Sea Glass. So uh, you'll see that's a lighter hue. They're similar, but beautiful tone. And then we have two grays. We have Rain Cloud, which is a nice medium gray and uh, a different tone than the other grays that we have in the line. And then another really light, light gray. It's called Windswept. So a beautiful tone, a nice warm, light gray. And I just know that I'm gonna be using these a lot. Just love them. So they are already in our one yards. And then we have uh, eight new colors for the seedling fabrics. So we'll start with uh, the seedling are also art gallery uh, made by Katrina Rochella. I love this. There's a texture and then there's dots on top of it. You can see it. 
and very modern. And so she came up with, uh, there were mostly just blues in the past, in the first selection. And so now she's added some more colors. We have the seedling and the olive, a nice um, yellowish green. Uh, we have the seedling and the sage. So that's a very, very light sage. This will be gorgeous in a background, um, adding just that nice little hue of, of sage to it. We have seedling in the flax, kind of a tan color, another beautiful one. We have seedling in the clay. So this is a light, light pinkish mauve, you know, very similar to my shirt today. And then a little bit darker is seedling in the copper, has a little more yellow to it, but a beautiful tone well, very similar again, a little bit more orange to it. And then we have uh, three neutrals. We have a pewter, which is a nice medium gray, but a uh, different tone. I like this, really like this tone. And then a uh, seedling in the shiitake. And this is a great color, a light gray with some taupe undertone, so a nice warm undertone. And then last but not least, we have seedling in the fog. So this is an off-white with some gray texture and gray spots. So beautiful new colors in one yard from these delicious fabric uh, fabrics. This is art gallery. It's a dream to sew with beautiful quality fabrics. So check them out. Probably one of my favorites um, as far as the one yards we have. Use them so often. Some other new things that we have uh, is some new 108. And I wanted to show you these. Um, I sometimes forget to tell you when we get 108s. We sell 108s. This is extra wide fabrics for uh, backings mostly. So they're 108 inches. We sell them in one yard cuts. So it's 108 by 36, or we sell them in three yard cuts, which is 108 by 108. So these are Stonehenge. So lots of texture, lots, lots of different colors. This is Calypso. And then we have Night Sky, no, Night Shade. So more purples and blues, a little, little bit of pink. This is Night Shade. We have Lagoon, beautiful turquoise and teals. A little bit of green as well. Um, and then we have Mountain Mist, grays, typical Stonehenge grays, and brown has that marble texture, like all the Stonehenge. So it's like your marble um, countertops. Stonehenge Ombre. So this one has a little bit of an ombre feel, I'll show you. So from salvage to salvage, you'll start in the dark. And then you ease into the uh, lighter and lighter. And so the center of the fabric will be this lightest tone. And then it darkens back out. So along the selvage is the dark. And in the middle, it's the light. So that's a really cool effect to have on the back of your quilt. I just love it. Stonehenge Ombre Midnight is this color. Then we have a uh, few other ones. We have. This really cute one from Wyndham, it has words on it that say inspire, invent, embrace, awaken, hope. So really beautiful words on this dark charcoal background. Nice and fun and whimsical. We have uh, a Louis and Irene meadow flowers in the natural color. That's really beautiful, typical Louis and Irene artwork. And then probably one of my favorite, Wild Wander in the Lichen. So this one is um, really beautiful colors. And so it's a perfect backing for a multicolored quilt. So these are all brand new in the store, so check them out. All right, Mr. HP, uh, have you pulled a winner for us for the show? Thank you all for hanging with us this Friday, by the way. We got a winner. Yeah? Can I get a drum roll, please? Mm-hmm. And the winner is... Alan Berry. Congratulations, Alan. Send us an email to help at GE Quilt Designs, and we'll get you your gift card. $25 
right in the mail so you can go shopping at uh, on the website. We love shopping. Yes. Oh, by the way, I was going to tell you that our abandoned bundle that I showed you on Tuesday, we got that back. I pulled, I called it kind of our abandoned favorite from the first um, abandoned one and two this one? collection. Yes. So there's the bundle. We sold this out so fast, but we are anticipating getting more. So you can make sure if you go, if you want to make sure you don't miss it, go to the website and on the product page for the abandoned, you can put in your email and you'll be notified when we have it back in stock so you won't miss out next time. So then another favorite, I did mention it earlier, the Modern Abstractions is back. We were able to get it back. And so we have that back in stock. This was a favorite during our virtual retreat. And so we have that one back in stock. I don't know if you have a photo of that one, but it's right here. The blues and the tans and the, t um, the grays and the beautiful, beautiful um, prints. Really cool. Modern abstractions. Oh, there it is. Yeah. So this one is back in stock. So snatch one of those up if you were waiting on those. Now make sure to join us this coming Tuesday, Tipsy Tuesday. That is going to be April 16th at 4 p.m. We will start our strip along. Um, so strips and salsa. And then we'll be live also on Friday, a week from today. That's April 19th at 12 p.m. Central. But that's our show for today. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your Friday and a great weekend. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time. See you next time.